So I'm going to show you how to make these really cute Christmas puddings just with the humble pom-pom maker and a spot felt. Here's what you're going to need. A pom-pom maker. A glue stick. Some paper scissors and fabric scissors. Yarn. Obviously white and brown. And... Ta-da! Little pom-poms, crafty ones, like the kids have. Or you can use a mini pom-pom maker. Some cereal packet. And the humble glue gun. Who wouldn't be without a glue gun? You'll need it to stick on your felt. Don't forget to print out your instructions. Firstly, rough cut out the holly leaf at the bottom of your instructions. Put some glue on the back and stick it down onto some cereal packet. And you're going to use your paper scissors to firstly rough cut it out and then you can cut it out neatly. Lay your template onto your felt, draw around it. So you've got two or three holly leaves. Cut it out using fabric scissors. Craft scissors are fine if you don't have fabric scissors though. Put it to one side with your pom-poms. Next you're gonna take your pom-pom maker. Open up both of the legs on one side. Firstly, we're going to take our brown yarn and start to wrap it around the legs of our pom pom maker. Make sure when you get to the ends that you're super, super close to the edges. The pom pom maker needs to be filled up all the way to both ends. Keep winding. You can double up your yarn to make it quicker, but this is how full you want it to be. We're having a little dip there so that when you snip your yarn, and close it up, it still closes nicely. Open up the other side, this time you're going to take your white yarn and you're going to start to wrap it just around the middle of the legs this time. From about here to about here. Keep filling it up until it looks something like this. You've got the ends with no yarn on and the centre is fairly full. Take your brown yarn and you're going to fill up those two gaps with brown yarn. Once you've done one side you can carry the yarn over via the middle of the pom-pom maker to fill up the other side. Give it a snip and close those legs. Now the fun part, take some really sharp scissors and snip down the centre of your pom pom maker. This is exactly the same as if you did it with cardboard circles. Once you've snipped all the way round, do not open the legs, but take a double strand of yarn so it's nice and strong and tie it all the way around the groove. You're going to tie it with a double knot so that it's really secure. Give it a really good tug. Then you can open the legs. This bit's magic. It's so fluffy. Open both sides. And take hold of quite central pieces of plastic. Give them a little twist and a tug. And pop! Out comes your pom-pom. Now you're going to give your pom pom a bit of a haircut. There's going to be a few stray bits of yarn that just need snipping off. And you're also going to want to snip off the long piece of yarn that you use to cut it with. Now you can leave that to hang it on the tree, but once it's all puffed up and beautiful, I'm going to show you how to put a really nice hanging loop on it. So take some gold thread or something sparkly, pop it on a needle, 
poke it right through the center, the top of your pom-pom. When it comes out the other side, give it a tug, but be careful to hang on to your thread. You don't want it to go all the way through your pom-pom. Once it's gone through, you can see you've got enough hanging out of the top. Just put your needle back in, but slightly further across in the bottom and come back out where you went in. Pull it through and you'll see that you've got two strands coming out of the top. You can just make them the same length, but nothing on the bottom. So that you can tie a knot in the top of your strings and then it's ready to hang. You can snip off any excess if you need to. Then you're going to take a glue gun and you're going to glue on your holly leaves. And you can choose whether you do two holly leaves or three holly leaves. It's entirely up to you. Once you've glued those on, glue your pom-poms on. So this one, I've done two felt leaves and just one pom-pom on the top. And this one has got three pom-poms and I made those with the mini pom-pom maker and I stuck the leaves on in between each pom-pom. So there you have it. Christmas pudding pom-poms to hang on your tree. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please do share it with your friends and family. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.